let's start with the chords. On the harmony guitar sections, the chords of a G minor to F to D minor to C. And again, G minor, F, D minor, C, and then A minor 7. So I'm just shifting my second finger over to change the root note, because it's essentially the same chord with a different root. So you're keeping G, C, and E on 5, 5, and 5, or the D, G, and B strings, and then just shifting an A onto the root on five, on the E strings. Or you could play it off with C, and then just take your third finger off. Either works, okay. So that's the chords used over the uh, harmony guitar sections, which we'll look at when we look at the lead guitar. And then for the verses, we've got This repeated sequence of D. And I'm playing a C with a suspended second. So I'm just basically playing C. The D strings muted by my second finger. An open G and a D on three. Okay, so C on three on the A string, open G. D on three on the B string. And then I'm just shifting that root note down. So I'm just shifting three to two on A. So we've now got G over B. So. They're playing a B flat power chord to a C power chord. So that's just one, three, three to three, five, five of the A, D, and G string. So that's that sequence. And then the kind of chorus section, we've got C. And on this, I added some wah wah so I could to G to B flat. To A, C, G, B flat, C, and then D. The O over here. And the first time it goes back into another verse, next couple of times it goes into harmony guitar parts. So next we'll take a look at those lead parts. For the harmony guitars, I've got the top guitar playing a D to C to A to G. So on the B string I'm playing 15, 13, 10 to 8. And then you repeat. And then play that last note again the second time. Because the bass changes then from a C to an A. Okay, uh, so essentially, although we're playing the same thing, the chord is changing from C to an A minor 7. Okay, now the uh, next part I played under that was B flat. To A, to F. To E. Okay, so we're going from 15 to 14 to 10 to 9 on the G string. Okay, and the same again, you repeat it and then repeat that, repeat that last note. Okay, and then the final harmony guitar was playing G to F. D to C. So this one's playing the roots of these harmony guitars, the roots of the chords. So we've got 12, 
to ten, to seven, to five, and repeat. And repeat that last note. The first lick I played came after the first chorus, and it was very simply a D major pentatonic lick. Just, just three notes, A, B, D, D, B, D. Okay, got the wah wah pedal on there. So I'm playing seven, nine, seven, nine, seven on the D and G strings. The next lick I played was it's going down the blues scale. So I slid to a C on 13 on the B string. Pulled off to an A on 10. Then I played G and F with a slight pull. And D and C. So 12, 10 with a little pull. 12, 10. And then a quick slide, A to G, 12 to 10, then F on 8, D on 10 on the E string, to C on 8. The next lick I played, which is also using the D blues scale, was just simply bending from a G, kind of a slow bend, and pushing on the wah wah pedal. Then played an A on 10. So push it up to an A with the bend and then playing an A. Then replacing that second note. So keeping that bend and put it C on 13 on the B string. Then let's kind of snappy bend and release on that 12th fret of the G. And an F on 10. Now we've got another great blue scale lick. So I'm just playing, starting with a little slide, from G to F to G, and then A. So I'm doing on the A string 10, 8, 10, 12, and then a D on 12 on the D string, so 12 to 12 there. Then a F D F. So and then I'm, I'm bending a G. So 10, 12, 10 on G and D. Bend on 12 on G. And then from that bend, I'm playing D, C, A, bend G, release, to F on, okay, so I'm going 10, 12, 10 on E and B, bend 12 on G, down to 10. Now I'm going down the scale, do, 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 do. G, F, D, C, 12, 10, 12, 10 on G and D. Then same kind of phrase on the D and A string, D, C, A, G. So 10, 12, uh, sorry, 12, 10, 12, 10. So slowly. Next lick is quite similar. So I'm playing a slight bend on F on 10 on the G string. Then D, C, D. Okay, 12, 10, 12 on the D string. Then we've got F, D, G, F. 
So that's on the G string, starting on 10, to 12, to 12 on G, back to 10 on G. Yeah, there we go. So once again, we're doing this bend and down the blues scale. So I'm bending on 12 on the G string, and D, C, A, 10, 13, 10. Bending release on 12 on G. And then, so that's 12 down to 10 to F. And G, F, D, 12, 10, 12. And kind of coming back up with F to G. The lick I played after the second chorus was Again, blue scale, I'm starting on a C, on 13 on the B string, then a bend on G and release on 12 on the G string. And then we'll trill, 10, 12, 10. Then down to D on 12. And then bending, so going to D on 12 on the D string. And then rebending that G back up to A. Then a little, I'm just kind of hammering, quick hammer to that G. So, so 10 to 12, back to 10, an F, and D, C, D. rest of the guitar solos, they're quite long, so what I did, rather than copying them exactly note for note, I just took inspiration from Eric Clapton's licks and played something similar as I was playing along. Okay, so I started with just a nice, okay, let's slide to A on 14, then F sharp on 14, so that's on G and E. So notice here in this section he's using more notes from the major scale. So previously we've been playing mostly the D blues scale or D minor pentatonic. So usually the F would be F natural here, kind of more brighter sounding F sharp. And then a little G, F sharp, G, F sharp to D. So that's 15, 14 to 15 on E and B. And the rest of the sort of sections, I'm again using more major notes. So all around A to B, 14 to 16 on G, 15 on B, okay, E natural there, uh, 17, and some bending from E there to F sharp. So slightly more of a country flavour, especially when I do things like bend up to E to F sharp, so bend on 17 to 19, then play an A on 17 and release. So you've got licks like that in there. And then you've also got These little licks, this is now playing an F natural. So I'm kind of switching between major and minor pentatonics a lot. Kind of classic Clapton device. So here we've got D, F, D, C, kind of repeated. 15, 18, 15, 17 on the B and G strings. And we also got some that kind of, we've also got a bend from A to B. So again, using that B note, that major note. So we can bend on an A on 17 up to 19 on the top string. Okay, so you've got all those kind of licks. All 
that kind of stuff, you can play in that section. For the outro solo, I again improvise based around those classic Clapton licks. <laughs> Classic kind of, you know, to play something and repeat it with those great slow bends, just bending that G again to A on 12 on the G string. Come down the blues scale. So I'll just come D, C and bend the A. 10, 13, bend on 12 on the G string. They can improvise around the blues scale, you know. So the scale is D, F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D, F. Very familiar scale pattern 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10. 13, you know, and also uh, there's a couple of times where you'll add a B in there, the major sixth note, which you'll find on 12 or on 16 on the B or G strings. Okay, so we got. All that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm not playing the exact licks there. I'm just taking the inspiration from that. You also get things like taking it up to the next kind of position and playing C, D, F, 13, 15, 13 on the top two strings, just as a hammer. Okay, and then you get this nice, I like this little lick where he does a, a nice kind of crying sort of. So push it on the wah wah pedal as he bends. A G to an A, so 12 to 14, and then 14 to that major 6 note, A to B. So 14 bending to 16. And you've also got, later you get some kind of minor third bends, so you've got that kind of... So where you bend from a D, a minor third up to an F, so you're bending from 15 to 18 all that, all that kind of stuff you could really have some fun playing the outro solo and have a great jam and enjoy white room so next we'll take a look at the bass part on the intro I'm starting with G to F to D to C so on the D string 5 3 5 3 I repeat that and then go to an A on 5 on the E string or an open A I kind of prefer to play it on 5 it's up to you and then the main riff for the verse is so first time I'm playing that I'm just playing D on 5 so I'm playing all this on the A string 5, 5, 3, 3, 2, 2 one, three. So I've got D, D, C, C, B, B, B flat, C. And then the second time I go. So I'm now I'm playing D again. So I'll start the same five. Then I play an open E, F, E, F. F sharp to the G. So we've got open one, open one, two, three. Play that G again. And then you should just put a little kind of ghost note in an A. So open A to B flat to C. And then back to the first one. Okay, and then um, it kind of switches. Sometimes it goes up. So we've got this. This one stays the same. And then... 
So instead of playing it on, on the bottom string, I'm playing the same thing, E, F, E, F, F sharp, G. Now on two, three, two, three, four, five on the D string. Then again, going to B flat, that little open A. And then back to the same. And also, you know, it varies this a little bit. This is the kind of the basic bass riff. So there might be a few little ad libs here and there, but um, I could also play. into the chorus, and so instead of a, I can play just an open A, B flat, open A, B flat, C, just an extra little fill in there, so open one, open one, three, and then, so, stay on that C for that chorus, always in this room, so, C, G, so three to three to B flat and one, open A, a little fill in there, so open A and then F sharp, E, C sharp, open, so the D string, four, two, then four and A, open A, back to C, G, same start, B flat, so, take it up to C, so one, to three, and stop. Back into the verse. So once you play those verse and chorus parts and those and harmony guitar part sections, you're flying and enjoy Cream and White Room. Thanks for watching, buddies.